Mariners hosting the Red Sox. The Red Sox are plus 111 on the money line. The Mariners are minus 132. Over under seven and a half runs. The Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 180, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose by one, you win. And the Mariners laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 160, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by at least two runs. Crawford pitched once against the Mariners this year. Five shutout innings. They won that game 2-0. In Seattle, he struck out seven in that game. The Red Sox are 5-5 five and five in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging four and a third innings pitched and 4.6 strikeouts per game in those games. They are 4-1 and one as a team in his last five appearances. He's averaging five innings pitched with an ERA of two exactly in his last five games. He allowed one earned run and struck out seven, four earned runs and struck out two, no earned runs and struck out nine, three earned runs and struck out three, two earned runs and struck out five, and that would be for Crawford. Gilbert pitched once against the Red Sox last year. Seven innings, three runs, three earned. They lost that game eight to six in ten innings. That was in Boston. He struck out four in that game. The Mariners are seven and three as a team in his last five appearances. They've won his last five appearances. He's averaging six innings pitched and 4.8 strikeouts per game in those games. Now, like I said, the Mariners are 5-0 and in his last five. His ERA is at two, and he's averaging six and a third innings pitched. So both of these pitchers' ERA is two over their last five starts. He allowed two earned runs and struck out five, five earned runs and struck out five, two earned runs and struck out five, one earned run and struck out six, no earned runs and struck out seven. So depending upon what the casino sets it at, because generally, they usually they have him at six, you may want to go under that case on the K line, but if you can get him at five, you may want to take a chance or just kind of stay the hell away from it. Now, head to head, the home team is six and four. The Red Sox are seven and three against the Mariners in their last 10. The favorite is six and four on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is six and four. The over has hit in their last five games. The over is 8-2 and two in their last 10, the over 7.5 runs specifically, 8-2 and two in their last 10, and there have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings, none in their last six games against each other. The game they played today, the, the Red Sox won 6-4, the game before that the Mariners won 6-2, the game before that the Red Sox won 12-3, the game before that the Red Sox won 9-4, and the game before that the Mariners won 10-1. The Red Sox are 6-4 in their last 10, snapping a three-game losing streak that they were on. They're 1-3 in their last four. The under is 7-3 in their last 10, losing 3-2 and 4-3 to the Giants, then losing 6-2 to the Mariners, and then beating the Mariners today 6-4. For the Mariners, they are 6-4 in their last 10. The over-under is 5-5 in their last 10 meetings. The overs hit in their last two games. They are 2-2 in their last four. Losing to the D-backs 4-3, beating the D-backs 4-0, beating the Red Sox 6-2, and then losing 6-4 to the Red Sox. Now, just because both of these pitchers' ERAs are sub-2, someone could get tattooed or they go to the bullpen and then the bullpen completely implodes. I'm on the fence with this game because Gilbert really screws me every time I pick him, but... I like him in this scenario, especially since, you know, they really haven't lost his last five appearances, but I'm going to hedge in this one. I'm going to take the Mariners with the money line. I'm going to take the Red Sox getting the runs, and I am going to go over. I just think that seven and a half is probably too low, and if this is a 5-4 kind of game, neither one of the pitchers really have to pitch awful for that. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.